Imagine yourself watching a farmer plow his field. In the path of his plow, you notice a beautiful anthill. Just a few more furrows and the iron of the plow will strike mercilessly. The nest of those poor little ants will be devastated. Their very life is in danger. You rush to the formicary to notify its tiny little inhabitants of the looming catastrophe. You shout, dear ants, get out of here. Your life's in danger. What will be their reaction? No reaction. So you decide to try sign language. Maybe, maybe they will get it. Oh well. As if nothing happened, the ants continue to run to and fro. What can you do? Take a stick and write with large letters on top of the mound. Watch out! Danger! Flee! The outcome? Nothing. The hustle and bustle of the little creepy crawlies continues unabated. But you love them. You want to save them. What should you do so these seemingly insignificant creatures will finally understand? You have only one option. You have to become an ant. And that would entail a miracle. Yes, a miracle. On a different scale, such a miracle happened to us. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son. Yes, God, God incarnate. The Son, Jesus Christ, is God in human form. A miracle. The Word of God brought to our level. The Word of God as we, tiny little ants of this world, can understand it. Yes, the Word became flesh in order to speak to you. What is Jesus Christ telling you at the end of a hurried and harried 2021? Let not your heart be troubled. Don't be afraid. Behold, I'm coming quickly. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.